Are you ready to create events on your Squarespace site and make it so that they can pay for the event right there? Hi, my name is Becca with Rebecca Reed Creative and I help entrepreneurs just like you create their Squarespace and show it sites. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set up those payments as well as feature the workshop so that it can get the attention it deserves. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create an event and sell it on Squarespace. So when you start off, you want to create a page where all your events will be hosted. So you come down here and you do a plus and then you click, click product. And this will be the page that everything will be hosted on. So you can see I created one right below that one. So we'll go with what I already created. And I named it sign up for a class because this is a whole bunch, um, whole bunch of dance classes. And so I've already created one uh, class, but what you need to do is you go to the plus, it's a service, and then you will enter in the service name of the class, as well as any sort of um, descriptions you have about the class. And then you want to put in how much the class will cost. So this class is $10. You just click on that, click on price. Um, stock is where you put how many people can attend the class. So if you have you know, a limit of 25, you add that in. Um, if it's a class that can have as many people as you want, just click unlimited. We'll stick with 25 for this one. And then there will be multiple different dates for this class. So click the plus and um, in here I can enter in date so they can select which date they want to attend for the class. And I can put the first date being December 6th and then add a plus. It'll copy all that information. So obviously I want to change that date to be the following week, December 13th. And now there are variables so they can edit that information. Make sure you go in and upload an image. And then everything else should be good to go. Okay, so this is what it will look like. Obviously they can select the date of the class and add it to their cart. And then when they add it to their cart, if you have the cart little button, it'll have a one up here. And they can go and click on the cart and see what they have purchased and check out. Um, one other thing, I think it's really good for you to talk about the classes and create a landing page. So if you want to create a landing page, you just go plus and then you can create a blank page or if you already have a landing page for one of your events, you can just simply copy it by doing the little uh, wheel and then duplicate page. And so this is the landing page for this, the Art of Latin Ballroom. Ballroom. It has all the same information up here, but then it has a little bit more information about the teacher and um, the approach and so on and so forth. And at the bottom, I put a button, which again, you just, by doing that, you click edit, plus, and then the button right here, and you can drag it to where you want it. And you can say sign up for class. And then the click through URL will go to page and you can find your product page where they can sign up for the class. And you'll know it's the product page because, well, it's titled sign up for class, but it also has the dollar sign. Want to um, put more dates in for this class. All you need to do is go to the pricing and variance again and you just do plus and then you can add another date um, to that event. Once you have created the event, it is time to go in and put it in your calendar. So on my classes page, I have this calendar and you can see I've already put one in, in the calendar. How you do this is go over to the left hand side, scroll down to not linked, do the plus, and then click events and it will create um, an event. I already created it right here. Click on calendar events and then you can click plus and just copy the information that you've already um, written down into the event. And then once you've done this, make sure to go to options and upload an image. 
This is important because when if you have, if your calendar is big enough, it will show that thumbnail image instead of just being a more gray box than the rest of the calendar. So I always make sure to do that. And then go back to content and go to this plus icon right here. Type in products or just product and then search for the product. So this was body, mind, salsa and it came up right here. Click on that. You can edit what it shows on this page. So I like that it shows the image and the title and the price. I want them to be able to add it to the cart while they're in this event. So I click that. You can obviously change alignment or anything. Click plus and then save and publish. And those will now be in the calendar. If you go back to where your calendar is located, you'll see that these events are in the calendar. In order to change the date of the event, you can just go to edit up here, starts on, and then just make sure to put the correct time. Um, one bummer is you are not able to repeat events. So you'll have to go in every single week if your thing is a weekly event and put it in to just this last step. Um, the As long as you've done the products having um, the different dates, that step will be done and fine for you. I know sometimes videos are not your thing, so I will also attach a link below that shows you how to go through it, um, and this is something that Squarespace has created. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button below, and let me know what other Squarespace or Show It tips or advice you need.